clouds looming and rain threatening, Brenton is prepared with the umbrella on the floating dock. But up first we have Scott Mackey and uh, Troy Mackey in the background just stretching it up, making sure that his body is ready to go. And on the water we have Scott adjusting his shorts like his uh, younger brother does. I think that that's actually where Troy got the, uh, the bad habit from. Scott having a bit of a shocker in the first run, but uh, making sure that he's not going to fall before the starting boy in, uh, in the finals this time. A nice frontside roll reaching down and grabbing it on the way through. Nicely done there, Scott. Well done on adjusting your shorts too after that frontside 360. So that's where Troy Mackey gets it. Here he goes now, toe side flat spin five, Mellon on the way through, looking for a stand up first pass. Skipping the board around to his right foot. That's regular for this goofy-footed rider. Bit of a dead sailor as he crashed through the tag wake. Not too happy with that one. High polite board working its way through to a frontside 360. And here comes Scott's second pass. A nice indie poke to the judges. A very stylish grab there. And let's hope that he's got a lot of tricks for his second pass. Here he goes, Scott Mackey jamming the hyperlight board into the tie wake, toast side, back side three, and unfortunately, he's in the drink. Well, time only for one more trick before the end of the second buoy and a bat wing. That's gonna finish up Scott Mackey's pass. Right off the dock with Matt Galvin. Now this kid's had a couple of years off from competition wakeboarding. He's had two shoulder reconstructions, but he is back and firing on all cylinders. Have a look at the Indy Glide right out to the flats. He is intensely concentrating on that wake, almost coming unstuck on that toe side roll to revert. Flicking the board around, here he goes now, the backside Melon 360. Nice and easy, making sure he gets all the tricks done on his first pass before he gets too technical. There is a switch 360, or is this kid uh, natural? Hard to say. He does ride a wakeboard very well both ways, and a big tantrum to blind to finish up a very technical first pass from Mac Galvin. Matt coming back on his second pass. There's the Scarecrow, unfortunately not getting the grab, so the judges will be looking very closely at that. And the backside 540, very big, huge technical trick. Have a look how big he takes it. Landing well outside of the wake, he could have gone seven on that. Unfortunately, Matt is in the drink. It's only his first fall, he gets to finish off his pass. There it is, there's the backside five. A little slower, a little smaller and a lot easier. The judges will be looking favorably on that one. Now here is Mr. Consistent Troy Mackey. Let's just see how many times he adjusts his shorts. Well there's two off the bat, he hasn't even gotten started already. Now Troy does have a very impressive array of tricks but he also does adjust his rusty shorts a lot. Two already, there is an Oriental Glide. Haven't seen those ones since Dean Lavelle. Two short adjustments in those, keeping close count. We're up to four already. There's the Tootsie Roll, making sure those shorts are definitely below his knees. Five and six, there we go. Also touch the binding. Six short adjustments, third trick. Here we go, heel side, 360. Front side, one short adjustment. We're up to seven. Toe side, right foot forward. There goes the back side, 180 and eight. Short adjustments already. Nine as he just followed through with the back leg there is the Indy Tantrum to blind and skips it back round to his right foot forward. Nice little slash and didn't adjust his shorts. Nine short adjustments in the first pass. Now, first trick, second pass there was uh, just a very slight short adjustment there after that, uh, that bat wing. A big whirly bird right into the flats, not quite sure what's going on. Adjust the shorts. There is two short adjustments, second pass, backside 360, toe side backside three, and no short adjustments. So a dead sailor, one short adjustment. That brings us up to three for his second pass. Toe side, here he goes. Now, there is the scarecrow mob, and he's in the drink. That's uh, up to three short adjustments. Well, whilst all that's happening, there's a bit of winching going on. A lot of the kids are having fun there with the Urban Rider. Frontside 360, you're in the drink. Well, the last rider to come is Brenton Priestley. Keep your eyes on this kid. He has got a lot of style and a lot of flavor spelt the way the cool people use it, you know, F-L-A-V-A. Have a look at the textbook method glide. That was poked perfectly off axis, right at the trees. Boots in, toe side, flat spin to win. And as his golden locks flow, 
the uh, Led Zeppelin type steezy kid comes in with a huge roll to blind, has so much time in the air, he skips it around to KGB. So it's a back roll with a backside 360. Next trick off the dock is not off the dock, but straight into the wake. There is the mute, almost Olay scarecrow and a huge big old off-axis 540 to finish up Brenton's first pass. Brenton's second pass, a big boot, indie tantrum off the tie weight, kicking him off there for the second pass. That was huge. Coming in switch now, have a look. Brenton boosts up a huge 720. Unfortunately, coming unstuck, and that's going to finish up his second pass. Now it's over to Scotty Broom with the Marine Safety Victoria Wake Life Open results. All right, it's time to announce the winners of the Marine Safety Victoria Wake Life Open. In third position today, we've got Matty Galvin. Coming in in second position today, we've got Brenton Priestley. And taking out first place and your winner of the Marine Safety Victoria Wake Life Open is Troy Mackey. Raise it up, raise it up. Well done today, mate. How was it out there? Yeah, it was fun. Uh, we have never ridden at this location before, so it was kind of cool to come out here and check it out. And uh, the conditions were perfect for us all day, and the wake was really sick. So uh, thanks to Wake Life, everyone for showing up, Wakewood Victoria and uh, Tiger for putting on the event. Cheers, guys. Good stuff. And back to you, Chris. Well, there you have it. Troy Mackey adjusting his shorts right into first place. In second, Brenton Priestley. And in third place, out of retirement, Matt Galvin, bringing up the rear there for the Wake Life Open 2008, brought to you by Marine Safety Victoria.